Supreme Court's reversal of Roe v. Wade brings up questions for some Oklahomans who are going through fertility treatments. News 9's Felice Romero spoke to a woman with a high-risk condition about her concerns. Megan Hoffman tells me her story is not uncommon. Many people looking to expand their families are having a hard time understanding how high-risk pregnancies or future laws can impact their health care options. So many people in our state likely have never even considered what this means for people who want to have children. Oklahomans struggling to conceive now find themselves navigating new trigger laws instated following the opinion to overturn Roe versus Wade. We are very watchful, as a lot of reproductive specialists are throughout the country, about the implications and unfortunately the avalanche of bad bills. When you add in this new layer of stress of wondering who will be writing the next bill, will it be signed? What will it say? Do they contradict themselves? It's so hard to navigate through. Megan Hoffman struggles with polycystic ovarian syndrome and takes medicine to help her eggs fully develop. The condition leaving her with a slim chance of getting pregnant. I'm automatically going to be an at risk, a high risk pregnancy. She says people with PCOS have a high risk of miscarrying or having an ectopic pregnancy, a life threatening pregnancy that implants outside of the uterus. In these cases, doctors would terminate the pregnancy through surgery or medication. And the people of Oklahoma have decided through their elected leaders and the governor signed uh, legislation making abortion illegal in the state of Oklahoma from the moment of conception except in the instance of to saving uh, the life of the mother. Reproductive specialists worrying about the doors those trigger laws could open next. It may create an opening for people who are to introduce other bills. If laws continue to be signed, trending in the way that they are, our options for having babies, starting our families, growing our families, um, those are in jeopardy. Feliz Romero, Oklahoma's own News 9.